The ICI hypothesis, which stands for Evolution of Increased Competitive Ability, was conceived by Bern Blossie and Rolf Knotzold in 1995 as an explanation for why non-native invasive species, especially plants, thrive. The theory posits that these alien species become more aggressive and successful in their new habitats, transforming over time due to modification and naturalization, a peculiar observation was that there's typically a delay between their introduction and the stage where they become invasive. The scientists hypothesized that, due to the absence of usual predators, the newly introduced plants reallocate their resources, shifting from defense mechanisms to growth and propagation. Consequently, they evolve to become taller, yield more biomass, and produce more offspring than their native adversaries. The pair tested this theory on the purple loose trife, Lithrum salicaria, using seeds from plants in New York, USA, and Lukel, Switzerland. These seeds were nurtured and monitored for two years at Christian, Albrecht's University in Kiel, Germany. The findings were consistent with the hypothesis. The plants from New York grew significantly taller, produced more biomass, and displayed lower resistance to the root, feeding weevil, which is commonly found in its native area. Unlike precedents, namely the enemy release hypothesis, ERT and Darwin's habituation hypothesis, ICA suggests invasive species do not reach peak fitness in their new habitat immediately. Instead, they slowly evolve, reallocating resources to become more competitive. This unsettling theory adds another layer to the complexity of predicting invasive potential. It suggests stronger regulations might be necessary for introduced species, as predicting the extent of an organism's resource reallocation capability in absence of stressors is challenging and could pose new environmental threats in simpler words. This theory paints a worrisome picture of how invasive species could unexpectedly disrupt new habitats over time. The research suggests that the IC hypothesis, which postulates that invasive species acclimatize better as they become less prone to native specialist herbivores, may not be as universally applicable as originally thought. This hypothesis suggests that when invasive aquatic plants are freed from the constant threat of specialist herbivores, they can redistribute resources to increase their survival capabilities in new environments. The Lepidium draba plant, however, doesn't appear to align with this hypothesis raising questions about its broad applicability. Furthermore, the existing IC research does not consider the variable outcomes under laboratory conditions. For example, some invasive species do not always flourish more than their native counterparts. A 2004 study of garlic mustard, Aliaria petiolata, by Bosdorf et al. presented a fascinating case. When put in direct competition under the same conditions, it was revealed that the native variant outperformed the invasive one, Contrary to the expected result, the intriguing results led Bosdorf et al. to venture that the dominance of the native variant might be due to the costs incurred for traits that augment competitive ability. Just like Lithrum salicaria, the invasive Aliaria petiolata evolved greater fitness traits, but was rightly unlike the Lithrum. It resulted in a trade-off, costing the species in defense mechanisms and growth. This fact prompts a reconsideration of the ICIC hypothesis suggesting an adjustment to represent that the ability of invasive species to reallocate resources to gain a fitness advantage may not always result in aggressive growth and development. This nuanced study expands the traditional scope of the ISI hypothesis, providing a more comprehensive understanding of the variations in invasive species growth patterns. 